Kathy Martinez, Berkeley, California. I did. Um, I got a, a note um, when I was at this school for the blind. It was a training center for the blind that said, um, help defend our civil rights. Come and help us um, protest the fact that the regulations for 504 have not been passed. So I didn't come down the first night or first day, but I saw that the demonstration was happening. I saw it on the news, and I just thought, wow, there's all these people with disabilities there. And um, so I went down the second day or third day, I can't remember. But the thing that was so amazing was that um, people had already taken over. <clears throat> I can't remember which floor it was on the building, if it was the third or fourth, but they had taken over a specific floor in the federal building. And like I said, I couldn't actually go in to be a part of the sit-in, but I could support the people who were um, inside the building. I could support them by coming every day and being a part of the crowd outside. And the thing that was so impressive to me was that the disability community had so much support from other civil rights groups, like the Black Panthers, Blythe Memorial Church, the gay community, the women's rights community, um, the farm worker communities, excuse me, and a number of labor unions. So it was so impressive to me to see such a mixed group, uh, racially, culturally, disability-wise. I've never seen you know, people with so many different disabilities come together for one thing. Um, I hadn't really been active in the blind movement. Um, and part of the reason was it because it was so segregated, I felt. Um, so I was impressed, and I just felt very at home. Um,